All right. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be unboxing this right here. The Canon EOS RP. If you guys are familiar with my channel, I actually own the EOS R already. I actually recently just put out a video talking about kind of like my six month review on the camera, everything I love about it, all the things I dislike. But if you guys are interested in the RP, I'm sure you could take some value out of that video as well. So be sure to check it out. But in today's video, it's gonna be all about the RP. We're gonna dive into this, show you guys everything that's in this box. I'll probably compare it a bit to the EOS R and everything that I noticed just right off the bat with the camera. And then I'll fill you guys in a bit on why I actually decided to pick up this thing and then maybe talk a little bit about who I think this camera might be perfect for because honestly this thing comes in at a really good price and it's full frame so let's just jump right into the unboxing <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this here, EOS RP. Go ahead and open it up now. Okay, cool. Uh, just, we got the warranty right off the bat. Cool, get that out of the way. So next up we have the manual. This thing is thick, that's for damn sure. But uh, I always try to keep like the box and the manual and everything. So when it comes time to actually like sell the camera for resale value, it just helps kind of have all this stuff and hang on to it. You can also get this like digitally now, so you don't need it too much, but it's always nice to kind of keep handy. But move that out of the way for now so we have the battery charger now so first thing i'm noticing with this is it's a different battery size than the eos r or you know like the 5ds everything like that it's not that standard like lpe6 i believe is what it's called um, so it's a little bit smaller and it has the wall adapter plug right in there so that's super handy really nice man i gotta be honest there's not a whole lot in this actual box itself so next up we just have the battery this thing is little but you know i guess the camera is small so hopefully that kind of matches with that but it's the lpe 17 so hopefully this thing still has pretty good battery life i've heard it's actually decent so we'll definitely test it out i'll probably have to pick up another couple of these um, and then one thing i'm noticing just in the packaging itself is this is kind of different usually i feel like every camera box has either styrofoam or cardboard so this is like a molded plastic maybe it's like easier to recycle maybe i'm not sure i don't know what i was expecting really but it just seems like a big box for like five items inside it so it comes with an eos rp branded canon camera strap so that's cool um, i don't usually use camera straps that often or especially the ones that ship with the camera itself but i'm sure it's useful for a lot of people and again good for resale value down the road so that just leaves us with the last thing in here so let's get this box out of the way there are a few things that are as exciting as unboxing a new camera. A new camera day is always a good day. So let's let's just open this guy up and see what we got in here. And again, first impressions, I have never actually held an RP before. So let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, okay. Um, first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is it definitely looks and feels very similar to the US R. It definitely is smaller though. Man, that thing is lightweight. That is really lightweight. See how the handle feels. Wow, it feels really good. Very similar to the EOS R. It's definitely smaller and a little bit lighter though. Now I know one thing that people have talked about with this camera is the grip is maybe a little too small, like your pinky can hang off, which I would say maybe my pinky's hanging off by like a half inch. It definitely, it feels durable. It feels really high quality. That was one of my complaints with when I was working with the Sony series, honestly, I feel like some of those cameras just feel a little cheap. I feel like they feel like more plasticky. So far with the Canon mirrorless line, I feel like they feel like extremely durable, very high quality. They just feel really great in your hand. They're like really well weighted too. We no longer have that little screen up top here. We just have this dial instead, which is cool. It has all your normal stuff like auto, manual, all the priority modes. You have like a custom one, two, three. So that's nice. Uh, it looks like you now have a lock for this dial right here, which is usually set for like your shutter speed. So that's nice. So you aren't like bumping it. If maybe you're filming something or you're taking photos, you want to kind of lock that down. So that's cool. Looks like your record button is right here, which is like the same spot as the EOS R, I believe, which I'm really a big fan of that spot. You don't really accidentally hit that and it's easy to get to if you need to. Uh, we have the swivel screen again. Thank goodness that swivel screen on the EOS R is awesome. It is so nice just being able to frame yourself up. It just comes in super handy. So really, really excited about that. Uh, over here, it looks like we have the similar ports. So we have the remote trigger, HDMI input. Is this USB-C? Yeah, nice, that's great. Uh, headphone jack, uh, mic jack for 
your microphones, everything like that. Your on off switch is still over here. I really like that switch. Uh, there is no touch bar like there is on the EOS R, which I think is universally, everyone kind of feels like it's pointless. If you're looking at just the front, it still does say EOS R. The RP is not on the front, which is kind of interesting. If you look up top here, it's actually right up here. So the EOS RP, if you guys can take a good look at that. Also, one thing to note is the card slot is no longer on this side. So I believe it's actually down here. So where you put in the battery, yep, the SD card just can go right in there which for me, honestly, I don't really care. I know some people kind of find that annoying. Uh, I don't really know why you care if you have to open that or open this. I guess maybe when you open this, it turns off the camera. I, I don't know. And then the last thing I know that's different on this camera, and the EOS R has a nice like kind of barrier that pops up to protect the sensor. This, if you take off the sensor, is just wide open there. Um, so that can get dirty very, very easily. For me, I always just, I'm very, very OCD about keeping that thing covered with either a lens or lens cap. So I'm not too worried about that, but definitely something to take note. So really that's like my first initial thoughts on this camera. Feels really lightweight, still feels great in the hand. Uh, feels really high quality and durable. So man, I'm really excited to kind of get going with this thing, test this thing out and see what I can make with it. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about why I picked up this camera, what I plan on using it for, and then also who I think this camera might be perfect for as well. So let's talk about it. So as hopefully you guys can tell, I'm really trying to up my quality of these videos and the production value of them. And I'm always brainstorming ideas for different videos. And I was running into more and more situations where I was wishing that I actually had a second body or a second angle in these videos. So I decided it was time to just pick one up. I do plan on buying whatever kind of the next version of the EOS R is, whatever that rumored camera is which is definitely supposed to come out later this year. So I'll probably be picking that up, which will be like a higher price tag. And then that'll probably kind of shift my R to be my second camera. I figured instead of just waiting for that, I would pick up the EOS RP for now because I know for a fact that it matches up really well with the R. And then also it gives me an opportunity to kind of make some content based around this thing. I do plan on doing over the next couple of weeks, a full vlog with this thing. So I want to test it out for doing photos, vlogging myself, maybe some sit down type talks like this and just see what I really think of the camera. So if you guys would be interested in learning more about the EOS RP, I plan on making some more content on it. So be sure to subscribe and follow along. And if you guys do have any specific questions about it, drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond to you guys, or maybe I'll include it in the next video as well. So I'll tell you guys right now, I think this camera would be really good for a lot of different types of people, whether you are an entry level photographer, maybe you want to try out mirrorless cameras, maybe you need a second body like I do, or even if you're looking for a really good value of a camera that can do a lot of things, whether it be photos or videos videos, I think this could be a really, really good choice of that. So be sure to follow along because I think I'll be able to speak to that a little bit better once I actually test this camera out. So guys, that's going to wrap up my unboxing and kind of my first initial reactions of this camera. So far, I'm impressed and I'm really excited to get going with this thing and really test it out. But that's going to be it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully you were able to take something away from it. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We got some awesome content on the way. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it. See you in the next video. Peace.